go and line up yourself up there on the side, and I can intro yeah. you in, step down, and you can do your thing. Okay. And the, how do I how do I turn myself off? Hit the uh, lineup button. Even if it's there's no lineup, it it, and it'll take you out of the lineup or off. Broadcast. There's no lineup button. There's no lineup button for you. No. Mm -hmm. I, I kick myself. Never mind. I'll just kick yeah. myself <laughs> when I'm done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, buddy, uh, uh, we're around blind, or we might have some issues. So, yourself and Cavacho, some Cavacho shows up, and uh, that is it so far. Okay. Well, if we have time, I'll do another challenge. I got that. I got that because I have like three or four challenges I could have did, but two of them are gone if I can't do hot sauce. But I thought I was going to be able to do hot sauce challenges because uh, homeboy nailed his foot. Yeah, he got permission from Alki to do uh, what he does best, quote unquote, so long as he does not kill himself. And I'm trying to get the same thing for you guys, but correspondence back and forth is a timely process, you know, especially when it's Alki. It can take we can always shave with hot sauce, right? We could probably shave with hot sauce. You know what I'm talking about? Especially like an eyebrow. Shave it with hot sauce. If something got in your eye, then it would be an accident. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to kick back. Still wearing his onesie. She goes. She goes. No, it's in the laundry. I said. She said I had a hard time catching it because. Well, I I told her. I said. I said. Well, I said. I, I said. I got to give. You know, I got to give Mac or some kind of an answer. I said. Like you know. I said. She said. Well, let him not let let you know that she's been trying to wake him up, and he doesn't seem to be responding. She said he is alive. Well. You know, I guess about as live as he can be. But she she said that he's going she's going to attempt make another attempt. Sue is trying to wake Well, well, what does he does he have a challenge? Uh, now I have this disturbing oh. image of Cavato okay. and his ones. All right, so his thumb I'm sure that, like, you know, he, uh, to his balding head. if he's not if he's not there within five <sighs> minutes, not sleep well tonight, right? I'm or, sure. Well, actually. You say he's got a little less. Of, well, if he's not there in three What's minutes, up, give me a call good. back, good and I'll, what I'll do is I'll. Well, you know Sue's number, don't you? Hey, call real quick on Skype. Show me your setup. Uh, make okay. it super fast, Chili. All right, all right. I'll, I'll tell. Later. I'll call her right back now and tell her that if he's not there in three minute in three minutes, he he's he's lost his uh challenge. What is the what? Does she know what the challenge is? Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to hustle now. Hustle, hustle. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, that is beautiful, man. <laughs> yes, I think that's perfect. All right, listen for the cue. When I give you the cue, you start yourself up, okay, and it'll pop you up on the left-hand side next to me. And I'll, yeah. Yeah, don't don't worry about that. We can get to that when it gets to that time. We get along. Yeah. All right, you're perfect. All right. All right. Wait for your cue, and I'll uh, and just start yourself up once I call you up. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. All right. Yeah, audio goes low when I pick up the Skype call. It should be back to normal now, I assume. Yes. No, maybe so. Okay. Just making sure. Yes. A little better. Well, it should be perfect. It's on 20, and it's hitting pretty high on the registry for the sound bar, so... I'm getting higher, I might be uh, 
grinding out a bit. <laughs> it's shot to make him insecure like that. Yeah, I don't have any problems with that already. No, not at all. I just can't tell. I'll never say I'm over here smoking a copious amount of rolled cigarettes. I'm getting another one before this all starts up, in fact. Mr. Eyelids. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, yes indeed, Mr. Eyelids. That is a brilliant item, my friend. Brilliant. Whew. All right, guys, four minutes till showtime. <laughs> Sitting up, As I said, she said, and then he fell back down, but then she said he got, I heard him talking in the background, and I threw out. He says he's having a hard time waking up. I said, well, he's got very, very short, a short period of time. I said, tell him to grab his testicles. And then I realized that, you know, he doesn't have any. But she said, I said, well, then pull a nose hair out or something. I said, like, yeah, because if he, I, 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 next two minutes, he all, I mean, he's going to lose the 20, 25 cents that probably if he's getting, you know, that. All right, man. This one should be a doozy. Later, bro. No problem. I use conditioner there, Ryder back and shampoo. Very expensive shampoo. Thank you very much. Cost fourteen dollars a bottle. In fact, I just washed my hair today. <laughs> Suppose this lighting really doesn't uh, make it look all that pretty. It's a shampoo called Rusk. R-U-S-K. My hair is naturally curly, though, and often when I brush it out, it just kind of frizzes. If I leave it go by itself, though, it just gets these nice big curls. Yeah, Camacho better wake up. He's, uh... He's one of our main acts here until we start getting some fresh blood in. Get some fresh blood, then all the uh, the old blood can take a break periodically. But got to have some kind of blood in here to keep this thing rolling. It can't just be my ugly mug up on camera. It doesn't work for anybody. The Ask Jesus Hour hasn't been on for a long time. And one minute till showtime, folks. Usually they do that when they jump in here, but I'll go ahead and do that now anyways. Are you kidding me right back? I'm hideous. What a bastard love child. Lounge live. There's the six o'clock bell. Now we just gotta wait on the uh, live bell, and we're ready to rock and roll, folks. Chili head, be on cue and ready to go when I call you up to the plate here. Sensors again, if you're out there, I need commercial notification coming in and out, if possible. Please let me know. Everybody in their positions and ready to go. It's almost time for the show. What's up, Ghost Dog? Don't forget to check out Ghost Dog tonight as well on TGS. He'll be on at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. <sighs> Should be fun. And Ghost Dog's coming to TV soon, so he'll be coming on in an earlier hour. Be uh, checking that out soon for sure as well. And OG Wisdom and uh, Commercial Break on TV. All right, they're probably going to be shooting over to us then after Commercial.
Need to hang up my Christmas lights too. My backdrop here is looking a little dull. I'm quite festive. All right, control room. Thank you. Everybody ready? Coming to you live right now from the Lucifer's Lounge, 6 o'clock. Here we are. Everybody ready to rock and roll. It's time to get on with the show. Looks like Cavaccio just woke up. Perfect timing, Cavaccio. The bell's just ticked off, but we're not going to be starting with you here just yet. We're going to have Chiliad coming up here in a minute with a uh, little presentation and a challenge for us. Our good friend's eyelids, of course, who nailed his foot twice on Friday's show, is back in the house. And no, folks, he did not lose his foot. I'm happy to report he did not have to have anything amputated. So that's always a good thing. And we got Big Chaos back in the house again to gross you folks out, I'm sure. And uh, Cavaccio is in the house as well. I don't know if anybody else is here to do a challenge tonight. We'll have to see what happens as the night goes on. But uh, <laughs> never know what to expect with this program. We, we try our best to... Uh, plan out what we're going to do from one show to the next. But, uh, well, as we saw last show with eyelids, sometimes planning doesn't always go as it should, and uh, sometimes improv just works a lot better. His challenge started as him trying to wax his face with some hot wax, and when that didn't work out, he just picked up a hammer and nails and drove through nails through, through, nails through his foot. So... Uh, <laughs> Props to eyelids on that one. Anyways, enough with the rambling here. We're going to go ahead and get the festivities started. If we can get Chili Head up here, he's got a little uh, special treat for you guys tonight on the program. Chili Head, come on down. You're the next contestant in the Lucifer's Lounge. <laughs> he's got to figure out how to start himself up here. Tick-tock, tick-tock, chilly head, where'd you go? There we go. We're both still All right, here. there we go. It'll work quite way or the other. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to camp down here, let chilly head take away the show here. Without further ado, there you go. All right, here we go. As you know, I'm a chili head. I do love my chilies. I love this stuff a lot. Um, now, I have a bunch of my uh, prized possession hot sauces right here. We got some uh, scorpion pepper powder right here, by the way. I don't know if you can see it in camera right there. Hold up. Let it focus in there. Yeah, that's about to focus. We also got some more uh, chili powder here. This is going to be scorpion pepper powder. It's going to have your um, ghost pepper and seven pot powder right there. All right, let's see here. We got uh, this right here. It's going to be Heartbreaking Dawns. It's uh, another nice uh, uh, ghost pepper and scorpion pepper sauce. Good stuff right here. This, uh, this one right here is about a... Uh, uh, it's at 1.5 million scovilles. This right here this is a mixture of a couple of peppers. Yeah, about one, you know, one million or so. Scorpion peppers going to run you almost like two million for that. We also got here uh, this, which is frostbite, clear hot sauce. Never seen this before. Clear hot sauce right here. This one's one million scovilles. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. It's good for mixed drinks. If you want to have a Bloody Mary, that's a great Bloody Mary right there. See, we got some other bottles that I'm almost done with. We got one, which is some, uh, I don't know if you can see it better. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's going to be Blood uh, 
orange and a scorpion uh, pepper sauce. Great stuff right there. That stuff's going to be harder than hell. This is my favorite sauce right here. As you can see, it's already gone. This one's my uh, cauterizer. I love this one to death. I got another bottle in the back over there. It's already set up. All right, and then uh, this is the this is uh, getting into the hotter stuff here. This is Black Mamba. This right here is going to run you two million Scovilles. If anybody in the lounge uh, saw the first season, this is the one I did two and a half. I did for thirty five minutes with some hot sauce gobbles. This is the this is completely the big boy right here. This right here, Black Mamba Six, same as the Black Mamba. Special edition. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to show correctly, but this right here has six million. Um, oh, it's not going to probably go and zoom up in there. Six million extract of some capsaicin. Hot, hot, hot. Think of like this. Let's get a little, um, um, tell you a little bit about, about capsaicin and Scoville's. All right, Scoville's scale is going to go over there and, and, tell you how much a hot sauce is going to be like on the scale. So for instance, if you are, anybody has a cafeteo, yeah, that's straight pepper extract. That's going to be straight pepper extract. Yeah, you got um, your um, uh, cafeteo, which most people have, that's going to be running your 3,000 skull bills. 3,000 skull bills. Most of these sauces I have here are going to run at least a million. Of course, this right here is going to be regular just uh, chilies. Yellow chilies, nothing special on those. Oh, and right here, these are uh, special edition bottles. I'm going to show this a little faster. Yeah. These cost you some collector's bottles, you get upwards of 50 to at least 200, 300, 400 bucks. Nice little collector's bottle, that's Blair's. And I got the uh, second one right here. All right, there's enough of me telling you this. Um, you know what? Since I'm a chili here, I love to have myself some ice cream. Let's have some ice cream here. Oh, I didn't get this going. All right, now. Here's the deal. I don't have any um, sauce, chocolate sauce, to put on this. Now, what should I put on it? I'm going to let the um, sauce in I'm going to go and let the uh, chop box decide which one of these you want on here. You want all of them? Hey, what's up about y'all? I guess we're saying all of it, so let me go and put a little bit of everything, I guess. All right. Here's some cauterizer. Put a little bit inside that. All right. Everything it is. Here's some of that. Let's get this one. Let's do this. This is good, folks. This is good. This is going to be some good stuff. Now here it comes the six million. This is the, the stuff that's gonna kill you. Alright. Since these two are collectors models, I'm gonna go over there and uh, not open these. But
we got some whipped cream here. Let's put some sprinkles on it, shall we? Scorpion pepper powder. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Finish it up. Yellow cherry, yellow cherry ants out. Ooh, that one's a, that one's a pretty good one right there. Is that not looking beautiful, people? Is that not looking beautiful? Is this not looking beautiful here? That's what I'm saying. All right. All right, and I totally went over the uh, fluff on this. I didn't get a spoon. I'll be right back. And again, for the folks at home just watching, you're watching Lucifer's Lounge live on BattleCam.com. Don't forget, you can sign up at any time, make an account. It's free, it's easy, and you too can win money, not just here but elsewhere, all over the site. There's plenty to do and plenty to see. Right, Hot that. Sauce Sunday Chili Head, take it away. Here we go, folks. All right. There we go. Hot Sauce Sunday. Let's go ahead and start with this little yellow chili up top. Good stuff. Oh. Mm. Oh. Good stuff. First bite, last bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. There you go. Woo! That's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff right there. Me, I wish you were here to have some. Battle. You want a spoonful? <laughs> trying to say you switched it out. No. He was in front no. of the camera the whole time. How could he have switched it out? No. And we just saw this man eat four ghostbers on Friday's yeah. show. Why in the world would he switch a roux on a hot sauce Sunday? Mm, yeah, that, that's got a little bit. <laughs> Starting to feel the burn now? Yeah, I'm to yeah, it's a little probably going to take a minute there because the ice cream probably just let let it slide right past most yeah. of the uh, taste buds yeah. there. So rather than just hitting your tongue, it's going to hit you on the inside where it really counts. Yeah, it's starting to kick in. Anyway, here we go. Mm. This is the fun part, fun folks. Part. Now we're going to watch the hot sauce kick in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, now, after he did the uh, chili peppers on the last show, Chili had him getting sick later that morning. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning. He ended oh, no, up uh, yeah. vomiting from it. That was, uh, God, what, eight hours after our show was over? Yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that <laughs> <it>. sweats. <laughs> it's core waters. 
just to let everybody know, when you do eat hot chili peppers, what most people will get is called capsaicin cramps. And again, just to break it down, capsaicin is your compound that's in the chili that makes it hot. Now, when you eat really hot peppers, you're going to get cramps in your stomach called capsaicin cramps. Okay, so that's what I got. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Debilitating. <laughs> I, I feel your pain there, my friend. Uh, oh. Yes, Busy Business, one of our old, old challenge oh, hey, competitors here in the labs. I haven't seen forever. We are back in full swing here right now. Tilly has just feeling the effects of his uh, hot sauce <laughs> Sunday there. Now, who else do we have coming up? we got Cavacho coming up. We've got Islets coming up. we got Chaos coming up. I'm going to ask the audience who they want to see next on the challenge list. Out of those three names I just named off, who do you guys want to see come up here next and do a challenge? We got a one vote for Cavacho. We got no, Cavacho, no, no, no. Cavacho, Cavacho. Cavacho's getting a lot of votes here. Oh my goodness. I think we might have to put Cavacho in there. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. How you doing over there, Chili? I'm not doing good to, uh, to jump know, over to Cavacho. Do you have? Oh, oh, oh wait a minute! Out. Wait a minute! Let's you wrap it up. out the shot glass, folks. Whatever I have left, he's is not done. He's gonna put the icing on the cake right now. Here we go. That's not enough. Every bottle's already open because he uses the hot sauce. <laughs> oh man, I got that one. Yeah. Let me put over that mix bowl. Do you know how much each one of those bottles of hot sauce cost? To buy those bottles, to empty them out and fill them with something else would be a, a waste of money. Especially for a guy that eats chili peppers. Yeah. Ghost peppers at that. Yeah. All right. There we go. Cheers, my friend. Oh, my God. <sighs> I just pray you don't end up with ulcers, my friend. Don't blame me if you do. It was not my fault. Uh, don't worry, folks. Chili Head is our resident chili expert, and of course, he has consumed all of these chilies uh, a dozen times. He knows exactly what he's doing and what his capabilities and limits are. We wouldn't put him in there or anyone else here in any sort of serious harm or danger. These are professionals here, though not everybody's a professional. The weaker challenge is usually done by the amateurs. The professionals are the ones that do the really reckless stupid stuff. So. Anyways, we'll be checking back in with Chili later on, make right. sure he's still alive. Right now, we're going to switch to the one that everybody voted for, Cavacho, coming up on the line right now. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Let's see if Cavacho is ready. We have to be quiet. We have to be quiet. Only because to things I can check my email. Okay. Everybody, yeah. this is Cavacho, and I don't know what the hell he's going to do, but I'm going to let him do it. So I'm going to get yeah. off of here now. Hey, people have said that I look like a cat burglar. So I was like, what else would be perfect besides finishing the job, painting my face black, and I'm supposed to be cooking dinner. You know, everything black. So I'm like, why not? So it'll be interesting. Oh boy. Here we go. Start right here on the nose. A 
This is a chrome marker. This ought to be fun. Yeah, okay, guys, I, I don't think with this one. I'm going to have to get the blue marker if anything. Should I do my face blue chaos? No. <laughs> Smurf burglar, that would be funny, Zarina. Should I get the blue marker, Zarina? Because seriously, this is not the wide tip I thought it was. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let me go get the blue marker, Sarah. Right there. What are you yeah. doing? What's wrong huh? with your face? Nothing. What the hell are you doing? So it's okay. No, it's not okay. It What's is that in okay. your hand? It's a marker. Give it to me. That's my marker. My marker now. In the hell it is. Give me my marker. Sue, I what the hell are you doing? I bet you're listening to that guy again. <laughs> Lou? Yes, Lucifer. He's a good person. I know he's a good person, but he's an instigator. He cares about me. Yeah, he cares about you painting your face up like a cat or what? I'm not. Give me my marker. That's I'm... enough. You want me to disconnect the Wi-Fi? No. Well, then knock it off. I'm... I was in the process of checking my email, and he started yeah, me. and that's why you're, you're painting your face with my marker. Well, you know I have to have a marker in my hand. Just go check the dinner. Ugh. You're not using my marker. Well, can I have the blue one at least? No! Why? I don't have a blue one. We do. Look at you. That, you know how hard that stuff is to get off? Which hazel and cold cream? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're not using my witch hazel nor my cold cream. So now I'm going to be going to the store looking like I've got a great big black line going down my face. Well, you put it on. That's your problem. Lou, I, she's just ruined this challenge. I, I'm sorry. I, I got to calm down for this one. I can't even calm down. Oh, I'm going to give BC a... <laughs> uh, Camacho and Sue, everybody. All right, so moving along with the program tonight. Who else we got left here? We got Big Chaos and Eyelids. I'm going to let you guys once again decide who you want to see next on the show. Is it going to be Big Chaos, or is it going to be Eyelids? Let's see it. We got one for Chaos, got two for Eyelids. We got a Chaos, Chaos, Eyelids, Chaos, 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 Chaos. Chaos, I believe you're going to be up, my friend. We're going to throw Eyelids on after you. And I think Chaos had a second challenge, so he can do that after Eyelids does his bid. So we'll get Chaos up here right now, check in with him, assuming he is... All right, we're going to do a little smoothie here. Let me get it down here really good. So we start out with milk, just regular milk. Okay. And we'll take a couple eggs.
So we're going to take some mustard. So we're going to take some, some pipe tobacco. I'm, just, I'm going by here now. So we're going to take some tapatio. Fuck it. Let me take the lid off this. <laughs> Hold on, I got another kind of hot sauce. And now we're going to do the habanero. It's a little bit hotter. Habanero sauce. Then we're going to stir it real good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. Got some snot in there. That's a big ass cup too. Send me a big smoothie. Let me get it back up here. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Put a little spit in it. All right, fuck it, let's do it. Oh. Oh, that's gross and hot. Done yet. I got that up and my screen. <sighs> Chaos, you've made a mess of yourself. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I still gotta finish it. Still gotta finish it. <laughs> now I gotta finish it again. 
I missed some. So with this, I'm just going to snort it. You know what? Waste not, what not. So we're going to take this, throw up, put it back into the cup. And now we're going to finish that. We're going to gargle with this one. For 10 seconds. Ready? Now, one more thing. Now we're going to snort it. Snorty to throw up on Battle Cam. Swallow. <sighs> Done. Battle cam. Now I need to kick myself before I throw up again. <sighs> Round of applause there. <laughs> oh, I love me some UK television, let me tell you. <laughs> you know what the most disturbing thing is about all this? I usually eat like either right before or sometimes even during my program. So uh, I, I get a lot of that stuff in my uh my my daily routine, but uh, <laughs> again, if you're just tuning in at home, you're watching the Lucifer's Lounge live here on BattleCam.com. You can catch us every Monday through Friday at 2 a.m. over there in the UK, 6 p.m. here for you folks on the West Coast of the United States. Now, coming up on the program, one of our favorite participants here on the show, Mr. Eyelids. Fresh from his uh, injury last week where he drove two nails through his foot. I don't think we're going to be seeing any nailing today. I hope not, at least. I don't know if swelling's gone down in that foot yet or not. But uh, if Mr. Eyelids is ready, wants to give me a one, two, three out there in the chat box, we will get him thrown up here and get the ball rolling tonight. There it is. Let's check in with Mr. Eyelids now. Chat box moving on me. Battle cam. I feel so ill, Lou. Like, I really, oh my god, I feel like I'm about to throw up, dude. Like, I puked in my mouth twice watching that. I literally had to cover my eyes and back away from the screen, dude. Oh. <laughs> if I leave a show and at least one or two or three or four or five more people have not gotten sick or offended, 
or uh, disgusted in some way, then I feel that it wasn't a good show. So I think we're doing pretty well for tonight so I far. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> So, okay, all right, so I'm just going to do a new spin. I, I had a genius idea, man, this genius idea, right, Lou? So we've had the mousetraps before. Mousetraps aren't fun anymore because, you know, they're the same. So I think I did an improvisation on the common mousetrap. We call it mouse tack. I like where you're going with this. I like it a lot. All right, well, I'm just going to uh, step down here and creep into the background and kind of let you do your thing there. Lucifer's Lounge, everybody, battlecam.com. Okay, so I basically just gonna I'm gonna leave it to you. So we're we're on UK TV, so of course I can't put it on any private parts. So I'm gonna let y'all decide where it goes. So if y'all wanna go hit up the chat box and tell me where this should go. <laughs> got a tongue, got a nipple, got two tongues. Uh, so we got the tongue, the tongue, the tongue, oh, the, the nose, the nipple. Tip of your nose, the tongue, the tongue looks like the pretty popular one so far. Most for the tongue, and then a few for the nose, so I'd start there and see where it takes it. We can't do balls, can't do balls. <laughs> We're on TV. <laughs> Alright, uh, safety glasses, I don't need any safety glasses. So I guess uh, tongue it is, so, oh, Jesus. Are you sure you don't want some safety glasses? I do have some. What am I going to need safety glasses hey, it for? Looks, it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to need safety glasses for? It just does at the moment. <laughs> You know? All right, give me the safety when glasses. When all else fails, you always have safety glasses. Yeah, I guess that's the professionalness. <laughs> Remember, always wear eye protection. <laughs> yeah. All right, safety glass me up here. All right, we 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 are ready then. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man. <sighs> Into the oh, ah. that was all the way through. Oh, all the way through. You pierced your tongue. Oh. <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> you did clean that before you did it, right? Uh, some, uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh man, okay, I didn't expect for it to pierce through the tongue, but I didn't think anybody was going to say the tongue, so I didn't expect that one. <laughs> ah, jeez. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Welcome to Battlecam.com. Oh man. That was incredible, Mr. I. <laughs> the crowd is calling for an encore here. They want to see another part here. They want to see another one. Okay, uh, the nose now. They're screaming nose. Can we do? Oh my God! Oh man! Oh man! Who? Oh, this is gonna suck. You know, I, this is a terrible idea. Yeah, these it's a it's a mouse tack. <laughs> All right, nose, nose, nose. This is a. Uh, Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Huh? Oh! 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 Ah! Oh! Oh, I just gave you a new nose piercing. Oh! 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 Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm surprised there's no blood right now. Oh, there's the hole. Oh! Oh, it's bleeding inside my nose. Never mind, the blood's coming out of my nose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Got a new nose ring. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh yeah, give me that. Oh, my nose is leaking. Let me get I was that. Let me get that first. Oh. I'm not gonna let you have that because it's gonna pretty much do that oh. away. I don't know if I want to do it anymore. This is. This is a terrible event. <laughs> oh, oh, nipple. Okay, one more encore nipple. After nipple, I'm done with this one. <laughs> Not enough of this one. <laughs> oh. Here, rinse your mouth too. Oh. Peroxide and water diluted. 
I was, that's why I said water almost yeah. swallowed that. No, I said don't swallow oh, it. Oh, jeez, I almost swallowed that. That's for your tongue. Oh, okay. I thought it was water. I was like, here's a glass of water. No. Peroxide and water. You gotta listen to what the heck I'm saying, Riri. Your nose is... Yeah, I know my nose no. is bleeding. It's not a shocker. No, I mean, it's a huge... Okay. That's a lot of blood out. coming out? Yeah, it's about All right. like, start leaking everywhere. Let's go and just shove some toilet paper in there. All right. <laughs> Nipple for the win. Ah. Ah. Oh man, things I do for battle camp. Uh, uh. Mm. Oh, what am I? My thing just did something weird. Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to do this one. Oh no. <laughs> ah! Oh! 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 I didn't quite get the nipple leak on into the chest. Oh! Ah! Oh. Okay, more of that. Oh. Ooh, that's oh. I can't hit the nip with it. Oh, it has to point on it. Okay, it's kind of hard to guide. Yeah, I can't really <laughs> pinpoint where that one goes. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Oh. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be like pin cushion out now, man. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree the nipple is definitely not doable for a dude, but the lip, however, the lip can be done okay. easily. I think that would be as bad. I think you can do the lip. Alright, I'll do the lip. I'll do the lip. Are you serious? You're gonna do it again? I can't do the upper lip. I've tried to do the upper lip before just with the regular mouse trap and it wasn't possible. It, it will catch me in the point of the nose. I don't want to have the nose you done again. Go hey, I gotta go to work tomorrow. They're gonna be like, what happened to you? Yeah, and this is your first day <laughs> on the first job. Like, really? <laughs> you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, kind of are, but it's... Oh, okay. Oh, God. All right. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Ah! Oh! oh! What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you oh, do? God, it bounced out. Yeah. Oh! Our contraption is officially broke now. <laughs> okay, our contraption is officially broke. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Jesus. Ah. Oh. There we go. My new invention, mouse tack. Coming to a store to near you soon. <laughs> Also, an uh, easy do-it-yourself tongue pierce kit if you want it to be. <laughs> or a nose piercing. Yeah. Pierce yourself easily. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. All right, Lou. I, I, I've had enough of mouse tack. <laughs> I've had enough of mouse tack. <laughs> so, I mean, we still got a good 15 minutes to fill, so if anybody else wants, I think you said uh, Chaos was going to come back with something else. <laughs> Mr. Islands, bravo, my friend, bravo. <laughs> a new spin on an old favorite. <laughs> We've done uh, mouse traps on here a handful of times. Always had just oodles of fun. But uh, <laughs> when he came to me with that idea <laughs> earlier, <laughs> it was right before we started the show, and I was like, yes, yes, that is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I'm glad you guys are pleased, man. Oh, glad to see you. Christ almighty. That was a good one. <laughs> Alright, well, if there's nobody else out there that's going to be doing a challenge tonight, uh, speak your piece now, because I think Chaos had one more for us if there was no one else to step up. So if anybody wants to do a challenge, just let me know right now, and I'll jump you up here. Tick tock, tick. We've only got 15 minutes left to go on the show. Red hot mouse trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to the person that said chaos equals nasty, islands equals awesome. You know, you got to have the diversity in in the show. You've got to have the the feng shui, if you will, the back and forth. You got to have the gross out. You got to have the craziness. You got to have the funny stuff. You know. It, we, we try to mix and match and get as much into a, a one-hour block as possible. You know, it's not always going to be spot-on. It's not always going to be perfect or epic. But uh, 
we're going to try to always make sure that it is at least entertaining for you folks out there. And remember, this is user-based content. All these people are you people. This show is made up of all of you folks out there, from the chat box to the broadcasters to the people watching at home. So if you want to be part of the show, you can feel free at any time to sign up to www.battlecam.com. Make an account, the screen name. It'll take you just a couple of minutes. You can even use your Facebook to sign up. And you can also get the Android app. It's available on the Android Marketplace. Be sure to jump on that. Come visit us here in the lounge sometime. I'd love to hear from you folks, especially if you got any crazy, kooky uh, challenge ideas. Even if it's not something you're willing to do yourself, we want to hear about it. Because I guarantee you, I can probably find somebody to be willing to make that happen for you. So be in touch with us. It's a good idea. All right. Well, if we've got nobody else out there in the chat box that's going to do anything, then like I said, I believe that Chaos had something to do. Uh, Pimp and Gimp, if you have any more channel suggestions, by all means, hit me up, man, because uh, I've got a couple from you before, and they were all. <laughs> All right, we got Big Chaos coming up alongside me here now. Now, whatever you're doing here, Chaos, this is going to be our closer for the evening because we've only got 12 minutes left on the broadcast here tonight on the program. So you go ahead and just uh, take it away there. Big Chaos, everybody. Lucifer's Lounge. I'll pop back up here when this is all said and done and uh, give us our cue out. I have. I have no, I have no, I have no (laughs) shaving cream here, so I hope none of this gets in my eye. Ah, my eye. <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. You know. That's pretty crazy little. This is pretty you know, I couldn't think of nothing else to do cuz I can't do nothing too crazy. But this is so I have to add something to this. That's it, everybody. Let's go over there. We got a salt shaker. We got an eyeball that is freshly shaven. Ah! Battle cam! Uh-oh. You kicked yourself? How, how do you kick yourself? <laughs> how did you kick yourself? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see that Chaos accidentally poured a whole salt shaker of salt into his eyeball there? That was terrible. What a horrible <laughs> accident to find yourself in. Oh my goodness. He's got to be more careful when he's playing around with a salt shaker like that. It could just spill out real easy, huh? Let's <laughs> try and check the sodium level, man. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about 
I'm so sorry. I'm one of the worst people at composing myself on this show. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been back here with my BC family and uh, had time to kick back and watch all of this stuff. I, I really have missed it as much as many of you people out there have as well, I'm sure. So it's great to be back. That's all I can say. I'm glad that the lounge is here. I'm glad that you people are here with me. And uh, hell, it was a good show. <laughs> They went pretty good. I, I mean, thank all of my guests here tonight. Uh, Mr. Eyelids, right here, of course, with his innovative mouse tack. We had Big Chaos with the uh, amazing fridge smoothie and the uh, puke mouthwash. Uh, Chili Head with his presentation of the various varieties of hot, 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 hot sauces and his hot sauce sundae. And uh, we had uh, Cavaccio there who tried to do a challenge. He didn't quite succeed at it, but props to him for trying. Maybe Sue will let him get away with it next time. And for all of you folks out there in the chat box, of course, I'm glad that we were able to allow you guys to help us with the participation of the program here tonight, even if it was just picking up the broadcasters and, you know, deciding what us they should use in their Sunday, that sort of thing. We always try to figure out a way we can incorporate you guys in the broadcast as much as possible because uh, well, that really what what makes the show fun, isn't it? You know, being able to do something with it. So, uh, don't forget we're coming up again on Friday. Now, in between now and Friday, there is a lot of stuff going on on BC, especially for you folks out there on the television. Toxic, of course, has his shows every. Uh, what days are you on? Toxic. I don't think you're on again for a while. A Toxic is on again Saturday, in fact, at uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, Priceless One will be up on Wednesday. And Mike and Ike Studios is actually going to be starting a show this week. I don't know what the exact dates or times are on that. You'd have to check your local listings for that information. And next week, Joe Wisdom will also be back on Battle Cam doing a four-day-a-week show out of the studio, I do believe. And Toxic says he's going to have an after show in his room, so we'll all be sure to head over there and check that out. Ghost Dogs Tales of the Bazaar also coming to TV soon. We'll be doing a special show tonight at 9 o'clock, coming up here in about two hours' time, so be sure to stick around. Check out again for all you folks watching at home. This is BattleCam.com and Lucifer's Lounge. Sign up right now. Come talk to us. Come hang out with us. Give us your uh, feedback on tonight's program and some ideas for the next program coming up on Friday night. We will be here all night long. I want to thank everybody again for coming out. You guys are amazing. I, I couldn't have uh, hoped for more out of this evening. It went off without a hitch once again. So uh, I think that about covers it. I let you got any, uh, any final words for the people there before we shuffle off? Well, you know, man, I was just thinking, man, we, we need, I think we need to make somewhere where we can just drop ideas for challenges. I know some people are going to get stupid, we're going to be trolling, but someone might actually have some going. Like, you see, if you can come up with something innovative, like a mouse tack, I mean, just take this idea and this idea and slap together and just, you know, let us know. Yeah, we need to get a page set up, maybe a Facebook page or something like that for the lounge and for people to uh, submit challenge ideas on there. We'll see if we can't get that up by uh, the next show. That way everybody can uh, put their two cents in and, uh, yeah, because we love, like I said, we love hearing from you people. Uh, last season was primarily dictated entirely by you folks out there with a few crazy ideas for myself. You know, I like to throw in my two cents every now and again, but usually it's just kind of sit back and let the artist perform because uh, <laughs> no matter what these people say, these people are true artists here. They uh, do great service for Battle Cam and our television audience out there providing us with some very uh, out there entertainment. So... Uh, I think that about wraps it up for us coming up on the uh, 7 o'clock hour here. So if anybody wants to do a little final going away challenge here, maybe just a little 
And feel free to jump up here. If not, we're just going to uh, say goodbye to all you fine folks out there and hop a lot off over to the uh, Toxic Adventure Room for the after party. Man, I was really sweating this show going into it, honestly. Well, I guess a few of the people in here knew that, but uh, <laughs> it always just seems to go so well. Oh, Cavacho is giving me the one, two, three. I think he wants to say goodnight to you folks. Oh, Cavacho does. We're going to bring it up here, and then uh, we're going to call it a night, folks. So for Lucifer in the Lounge, I bid you all adieu. Battle Take camp. care and be safe. Blue. This isn't a challenge, but I wanted to let you know, Sue's right here. She has officially grounded me for two weeks if I come back onto your lounge for one more challenge. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, no, she pretty much didn't make me stand in the corner. She's she's actually allowed me on battle cam, but she won't let me uh, come back on the lounge except to do this and tell you that, yeah... Because of the coloring of the face, just this line cost me two weeks of the lounge. Yeah, I, I finished the dinner. I get you not. There's actually the plate in the trash can. We already had that. So, yeah, I'm grounded on 37. Well, I guess that's it for Kavach. Uh, apparently, he won't be joining. Anyways, I was saying, so uh, we got an opening in our uh, schedule there. If anybody wants to be uh, crazy, uh, just let me know. Next Friday is our next show, so uh, hit me up in between now and Friday. I will need to get you on the list, try to get a generalization, a feel for what you want to do there, maybe uh, brainstorm some ideas with you, that sort of thing. Contact me on Skype, you can contact me on Facebook, or here on BattleCam, of course. And if you can't find me in any of those various places, just ask around. I'm sure somebody can point you in the right direction. That's it. I'm out. Off to the toxic room for the after show, everybody. So thank you again. Have a good night, guys.